Welcome. Now you're on the training levels and you must have read through some of the website so far. Why don't you just pause this video for a moment, grab yourself a cup of coffee, and relax. Come on back, open up the five critical concepts that we're going to talk about. Let's just have a conversation here so that we can move forward, so that you can have a complete understanding of what training standards are all about. Let me just be honest with you right now. You're not going to find those training standards anywhere, most likely on any other site. Okay, let's get down to the meat of the topic right now. Training standards. Why are they important? First of all, if you don't have clear direction on where you're headed, where are you going to go? Most people don't even know where they're headed. So what we've done at Vaughnfield Crest Shepherds is we've created what we call the five critical concepts. Let me just take a moment here and outline those, then we'll go back and we'll talk about each one of these concepts. These are the five critical concepts that define what a personal protection dog must be able to have in place or you don't have a personal protection dog. Many companies don't define their standards. At Vaughnfield Crest Shepherds, this is the paramount concepts that is the pillar of our foundation of the standards of training. So let's get started. One, a personal protection dog must be able to defend against multiple aggressors. Two, a personal protection dog must be able to defend against a carjacking situation. Three, a personal protection dog must be able to defend against a home invasion situation. Four, a personal protection dog must be able to defend against a child abduction and or kidnapping. And five, a personal protection dog must be able to do interior building searches, exterior building searches, and sweep your front yard and backyard for intruders. Now, let's back up. A lot of companies out there are selling dogs that are called Schutzen trained dogs. These dogs are sport dogs, and in general, Schutzen trained dogs will not protect you. Reason being is, they don't meet the five critical concepts. But a Schutzen dog is only trained in tracking, obedience, and what they would call protection. They don't meet those five critical concepts. They are sport dogs. Here is where the rubber meets the road. If you do not have, again, those five critical concepts in place, you do not have a personal protection dog. So, let's go back up to the top and describe what number one on the five critical concepts is supposed to look like. And by the way, we just didn't pull these critical concepts out of our hat. These are based upon FBI statistics on how the criminal elements are literally coming against the citizenry today, homeowners, people on the street. So number one, multiple aggressors. Bad guys are coming at you in multiples one, two, and three. So our personal protection dogs are trained to defend against multiple aggressors. How do we do that? Personal protection dogs are trained to hit key areas of the body, like up underneath the armpit, up in the chest area, on the back area. Why is that the case? Because major nerve bundles run through these areas, like up underneath the armpit. 98% of all attacks, whether it be from a blunt forced uh, instrument like a club, a stick, even knives. Knives come from overhead. So when that area is opened up, the dog is to come up underneath the armpit and hit that hard. What they do is they drive that nerve bundle up into hard bone and that creates a dead spot in that nerve bundle like hitting your funny bone and then the arm goes paralyzed for 15-20 minutes. Renders the bad guy immobile. So if the dog has position on the bad guy, he can go in and hit one, two, or three people in the critical areas and render those people immobile. So they can do it very fast. So that's why multiple aggressors are in there. Of course, in the home invasion, maybe they may be coming at you in, in threes. That's why we do multiple aggressors. They must be able to defend against carjacking. Our carjacking, unlike others, is just not when a person might come up, hit you from behind, block you in from the front, and try to steal your car. That is a carjacking. That's true. But that isn't all of what our carjacking entails. 
anytime you're in around your car at the park getting in your car even coming home when you drive up into your driveway and you open up your garage door we train scenario based training for that type of situation we will talk more about in a separate video about scenario based training I encourage you later on after this video to go to the next video which is called scenario based training exercises that is the icing on the cake doing scenario based training but our carjacking is all encompassing home invasion our home invasion is extensive we do as many scenario based training exercises in home invasion than probably anyone out there so we in our level three dogs just as an example we may do 30 scenario training exercises in our home invasion uh, which is huge and so that's going to incorporate the multiple aggressors, maybe even carjacking. It might start as a carjacking, wind up in the garage, wind up in your house, out on your patio, up in your bedroom. It's never ending. It's very fluid. Child abduction and or kidnapping. The reason we have child abduction and or kidnapping is that a lot of times this particular segment of our five critical concepts can be a non-aggressive approach. Most of the time kidnapping and child abduction is a grab and snatch and it is not typically considered a real aggressive approach. It is a really a non-aggressive approach. So if the dogs are always used to seeing a lot of aggression, a lot of outward expression from the uh, perpetrator, they may not know how to handle a non-aggressive approach so we encompass we incorporate the non-aggressive person in our child abduction and or kidnapping that's where this follows sweeps and searches number five interior building searches that would be like your home you leave your house you know you've locked your house up and you come home and the front door is standing wide open you can actually take our dogs after time and send those dogs into your home and it will do a cursory search of your entire home and let you know that it's safe to go back inside. Exterior building searches, that would be like a garage that is not attached to your home or a barn for those folks who might live in a farming community. And the sweep in your front yard and backyard for intruders, most home invasions today occur between the hours of 4 o'clock in the afternoon and 7 o'clock in the evening. So if we can keep the bad guys outside, that's what we want to do. So if you happen to see someone jump your fence or are wandering around on your property, you can send your dog outside and to keep those bad guys outside. Thank you for your time looking at the five critical concepts. If, if you're searching the web for looking for a personal protection dog and they do not meet these five critical concepts, you have to come to some conclusions. First of all, you deserve the very best personal protection dog you can find on the market. There has to be a standard. You have to ask yourself, five critical concepts are the other companies providing you with at least that much training? I would have to say probably not. Give us a call. Let us talk to you about your needs, your wants, and your desires. Our core values state that we're going to do everything possible to ensure that you're going to be successful with your dogs, that our dogs are going to be successful, and that's the only way that Von Field Crest Shepherds can be successful. The five critical concepts are anchored in our core values, along with our delivery policy, along with our extended training package, along with our health guarantees, along with our scenario-based training exercises, and in addition to that, clear, concise, understandable five critical concepts that define a personal protection dog. Thank you for joining me today and please go to the next video about scenario based training. Again, that is the icing on the cake. That's what makes a good dog a great dog. Again, thank you very much.